USG Slava spews out of Kilauea's fissure. Eight warnings have also been issued about Pele's hair and other lightweight volcanic glass being flung out of one of Kilauea's fissures, which can pose a health risk. A County of Hawaii statement said, Fissure 8 is producing the most active flow with a channel that may overflow at any time. Hawaii Fire Department reports that a flow in the area of Noni Farms Road is heading toward the Waiwai area. Residents of Government Beach Road, Kapoho Beach Lots and Vacation Land are at risk for isolation or lava inundation should a flow reach that area and are advised to be prepared to evacuate due to the possibility. USG Slava from Kilauea's Fisher 18 travels in a southeasterly direction residents of threatened areas should heed civil defense warnings and be prepared to evacuate with little notice. County of Hawaii statement residents of the Lalani estates are allowed to access to their properties between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. with a curfew in force. The statement added, residents of threatened areas should heed civil defense warnings and be prepared to evacuate with little notice. Everyone is advised to stay away from active volcanic areas, a spokesman for the United States Geological Survey's Hawaii Volcano Observatory said, vigorous eruption of lava continues from the Lower East Rift Zone fissure system in the area of Lalani Estates and Lanapuna Gardens. Getty lava across a road near Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, Fisher 8 maintained high fountains through Wednesday with sustained heights exceeding 200 feet in the presence of multiple secondary fountains that reached to 60 feet. This fountaining continued to feed a lava flow that moved downslope along Highway 132. Advance rates were less than 100 yards per hour for the three lobes of the flow. Pele's hair and another lightweight volcanic glass from high fountaining of Fisher 8 are falling to the west of the fissure and accumulating on the ground within Lalani Estates. Winds may waft lighter particles to greater distances. USGSA map showing the latest location of lava near the volcano. Residents are urged to minimize exposure to these volcanic particles, which can cause skin and eye irritation similar to volcanic ash. HVO field crews are on site tracking the fountains, lava flows, and spattering from multiple fissures as conditions allow and reporting information to Hawaii County Civil. Defense. Crews are also checking on the status of ground cracks on Highway 130. Volcanic gas emissions remain very high from the Fisher eruptions. High eruption rates from Fisher 8 have led to the formation of a levee channel along the western edge of the lava flow. Failure of flow levees could result in rapid advance of flows. Flow margins are extremely hazardous and should not be approached. At the volcano's summit, ash continues to erupt intermittently from the vent within Halamalmau Crater, with the National Weather Service observing an ash column rising to 12,000 feet this morning.